Ray Ray McLeod, baby. The hidden gem, small in stature, huge in impact, and very versatile. Um, brought in to bolster the return game, which has been just trash for six straight years. Uh, Richard Hightower, the special teams coordinator who Shanahan brought in, used to be teammates with Texas, finally said bye-bye to him. He is now on the opposing sideline week one. He is the Bears special teams coordinator, thank God, for 49ers fans. Now, what can Ray Ray bring? Now, a lot of people assume when you see a small statured returner like Ray Ray, you'll see him donning number three. Do you think shifty and all those jukes and all that stuff? No, 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 no. That's not what he brings. It's pure acceleration and not going side to side. He just gets going fast. He's not even a top speed guy, but he is small, and he likes to run through arm tackles. So although he's yet to score a touchdown in his career, which, again, the 49ers haven't had a return for a touchdown since Shanahan arrived. Maybe even past that, you got to go back a ways. But hopefully the return game can alter different games by flipping the field, helping your defense out by having a longer field to defend, helping your offense out by having a shorter field to defend. Um, and on top of that, Ray Ray is in competition for that number three wide receiver. When the 49ers drafted Danny Gray and you brought back Juwan Jennings, I was assuming Ray Ray was going to be on the back end of that roster, kind of that number five wide receiver. No, no, no. Uh, Quite contraire. He is kind of that wide receiver 4-3. I think he's closer to 3 than he is 5. And I expect him to get a lot of looks um, as just a straight-up wide receiver. This also helps create a little bit more insulation for Debo. Just in case Debo does go down, which with his phys physical way that he plays... He's going to miss time. It's just what happens in the NFL. If that's the case, not saying Ray Ray McLeod is Devo. He's not at all. But you can do a lot of the same style of play calls, you know, quick screens, end arounds, jet sweeps, things like that with him. So I'm excited about that. So um, expect Chicago week one, a return or two that changes field position. That would be huge. So watch number three out there. And that's the thing alleviating just a little bit of pressure for Trey Lance on those shorter fields. Maybe that's one first down less that he has to get on his opening drive or something along those lines. Those little details matter. I'm so excited to see Ray Ray McLeod. And maybe the 49ers won't have the worst special teams unit in the NFL for a sixth consecutive <laughs> year. The 49ers Rush Podcast.